take your baby by the hand I make you do a high stand YouTube, it's Satch. Welcome to Driver 81 YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at five things that suck about the Boxster 986. Now I do want to say one thing before I start going through the things that I believe in my opinion could be improved upon. Sucks is a really bad word. It's just really things that, you know, like I say, could be better. I actually love this car. I've made a video, one of my previous video was five things that I love about the Boxster um, and a lot of people seem to agree with what I was talking about. Uh, so I do want to say that first of all, this is obviously the 986 Boxster. Um, I absolutely do love this car. It's just, as with every car, there are a few things which you know you think maybe could be a little bit better. Uh, so I'm just going to discuss those and when I say these things suck, I don't really mean they suck, I just mean maybe they could be better. So let's get into it. The first thing that is probably uh, a lot of Boxster 986 owners agree with me actually. Um, I've driven a few Boxster 986s, not, not uh, probably about three or four, and they all seem to be the same. And it is, first of all, a lot of these Boxster 986s, they are owned by people who are, um, it's their second car, so they'll probably have something else as a daily driver, something a little bit more comfortable as a daily driver. And maybe have this box that is a weekend car or just when the sun's out you know put the roof down and take it out for a drive that way um, but if you do have to drive with the roof up you'll know that you can you may be able to hear it now that when i'm going over sort of bumby road it's quite rattly and shaky um, and that is a, a, that is unfortunately just a characteristic of the car um, like i say i haven't driven too many boxes but the ones I have driven um, the owners have all said the same thing and when it's been driven by myself I've experienced that myself um, so that's the first thing that kind of sucks you've got to also understand though that this car is a 17 year old car um, a lot of the cars which are on the market were out in 97 which would make them a 20, 20 year old car so you know what do you expect you can't expect too much you can't expect a, a perfectly quiet ride um, and if you do expect a perfectly quiet ride maybe go for the 911 or um, I don't know a Cayman because they are a little bit more rigid uh, but these cars they you know they're cheap in what they are so you do expect a little bit of a rattling but if you're only using the car when the sun's out of a weekend drop the top you're not even going to hear that to be honest with you guys so the second thing that I think sucks about this 986 Boxster is the exhaust note or should I say lack of exhaust note yeah so these cars they really don't this is a 2.7 model um, now I'm not 100% familiar with the 3.2 um, I know the 2.5 is the same as this pretty much more or less uh, but this is the 2.7 so the exhaust note I just feel that it's non-existent with you being such in such a small cabin and really close to the engine and even the exhausts you think you might sort of hear some sort of grunty sort of sporty um, noise from the exhaust or exhaust note or tone but that's not the case you know it might sound okay when you're starting it up from cold but that's as that's as good as it gets so you've really got to look into alternatives for the uh, the exhaust note if you want something a little bit meatier and a little bit more throatier there's two things which i have looked at uh, one of them is called a, a fox export a sports sound system and that does to be honest with you sound pretty good um, i've looked at a few youtube videos never heard it in person but on, on youtube uh, looks and sounds pretty good it's a good unit but you're gonna pay about a thousand pounds for that unit so um, that is pretty pretty expensive if you're looking for a bit of a sport sound in your box there now when I owned a 996 911 what I did on that uh, car was got one they call muffler bypasses um, and that gave it a really crisp sort of throaty sound you know it really did sound like thunder um, 
So that's what I maybe look towards towards the Boxster. Um, I think you can get much. I haven't looked into it too much, but I think you can get kind of the equivalent muffler bypass kits for these. So um, I would say if you want something which sounds really good, maybe budget in for uh, a different exhaust system because the ones which are provided from factory, they're just not that. I mean, they do they do the job, but they're just not that. They don't give you that feeling that you're in a sports car, and that's that's the one that's the, the sort of the missing thing to this package. I think is a real sports-sounding exhaust. All right, guys. So we're moving on to number three now. The third thing that sucks about this car, and I'm gonna put it down to just the characteristic of the car, um, and it is the heavy steering. Again, all the boxers that I've driven, they have suffered from heavy uh, power steering. Uh, all the fluids are have been renewed, they've been checked the, at the right levels, and there's no whining no noises, no noises that shouldn't be coming from the suspension. Uh, so I think I'm gonna to have to just put it down to like I say, a characteristic of the car. This car is 17 year, year old, as I've already mentioned. And I think maybe we've been, for the past sort of 10 years or so, we've been used to uh, cars with extremely light power steering. You know, as the technology advances, the, car, the other cars around us, the daily drivers, the steering gets lighter and lighter, easier and easier, and basically more of a pleasure to, to use. Um, especially if you do a lot of city driving and parking in short spaces and whatnot. I don't really do a lot of that in this, to be honest with you. I only tend to drive this on country roads, so it's not so bad. But you do find that when you're coming into, you know, places like city centres and really small narrow seats, which uh, here in Newcastle upon time we do have quite a few of, you do find just that little bit, you know, that little bit harder to actually get a you know get a basically I think what I'm trying to say is I need to go to the gym and maybe work my arms out more because or maybe I don't need to actually because maybe I'm getting that workout from driving this boxer so there we go um, but that's the third thing on the list anyway it's a power steering and it's very heavy on the 986 all right so the next thing on the list and this is number four that sucks about the uh, the box step it is the um, if you've got a manual transmission, a manual gearbox, which this is, this is a five-speed gearbox, the whole gear change experience is very sloppy. You'd expect it, with it being a sports car, to be nice, short, tight changes, but in actual fact, in every gear, the gear stick is just very sloppy. When it's in neutral, you can practically move it anywhere you want. And it doesn't make for a great experience when changing gears. Now, I believe from what I've read is that there is a, a very, very good solution to this. And it is uh, basically a short shifter kit, which you can buy for around about 50, 50 pounds, uh, which is about $65. And that completely tightens up the whole gearbox experience. And it gives you that really sort of short, quick change. So that will definitely something that I'll be looking into as I say if um, I've never driven one with it in but people I've spoke to and I've read about it with it being such a an easy modification to do I think I'd have to literally go down that route but that's one of the things that just takes away from the experience of driving the car really but um, spend 50 pounds or 65 dollars getting a, a short shift kit installed and I think you're laughing So the fifth and final thing that I think sucks about the 986 Boxster is the fact that, uh, again, this is common with a lot of Boxsters, um, the gear levers, not the gear levers, the boot levers, in fact, when you're opening the uh, luggage compartments, the, uh, the cables are actually proning to snapping, so when you try and press the key on the button, 
to actually open the rear boot, boot luggage space, nothing happens. You can hear a motor, so it's trying to do something, but nothing happens. So um, it is common on a lot of boxes whereby the what we think is happening is the um, the cable is actually snapping. So yes, you can still open them because I have two levers down here, uh, one for the front and one for the rear. But what it means is if you see if you're coming back with a bag of shopping. Um, or you've got something that you want to put in the boot or the trunk space what you've got to do is you've got to come back to the car you've got to actually open the door then plug one pull one of the levers and then go to wherever you need to be um, you may think that's a small you know it's a small thing and it is a small thing but when you've got a bag full of shopping you just want to plunk them straight in so it's quite annoying from that aspect but it's not gonna it's not going to be the end of the world is it if somebody has to do that you can just get a new cable in so i think for if you wanted to spend say maybe a couple of hundred pounds on a muffler bypass kit uh 50 pounds on this and what else maybe i don't know 50 pounds getting the lever sorted you know for for probably about 500 pounds you could turn this car into an absolute beast of a motor which puts a smile on your face every time you drive it and to be honest with you that is what happens to me right now in any case um, so it was quite a, kind of pointless making this video in fact but uh, there you go I love the Boxster love the 986 and that's it for me today I uh, hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give it a thumbs up please give it a like please comment in the box below uh, please subscribe to the channel and um, oh by the way it is Friday now so it's uh, four days away from picking up my new 911 which I'm sure I've mentioned this in every video for the past few weeks I can't actually wait for um, so we'll be making lots of videos on the new 911 very soon um, I'll see you next time guys get out and drive